Hey guys, welcome to this video on creating and using a custom controller in Salesforce. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to click Setup. And then in the search box up here, we're just going to type in Visual Force. And then you see Visual Force Pages link comes up. Click that there. What we're going to do is create a new Visual Force page. So I'm going to call this Visual Force page um, contact, uh, Contacts List. Okay. And you can see that it comes with some custom code here. Let's go ahead and do quick save and then preview. So we see we get our congratulations. This is your new page with the code that was already there. And we're just going to get rid of all of that. So save that. And then let's preview this so we should get nothing. So this is just empty now, just like we want. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create our controller. So we could do that just by typing controller here and setting it equal to the name of our controller, which is the name of the Apex class that we either already have created or, um, well, you'll see if we don't have it created, what'll happen. So right now I don't have that Apex class created that we're gonna create and I'm gonna call it contact list controller. So um, our controller, of course, again, is an Apex class, and I do not have a Apex class called Context List Controller. So let's see what happens when I try to save this. You'll see that we'll get an error message. So here it says error, Apex class Context List Controller does not exist, but it gives us two options to fix this problem. So I'm gonna pick the second option, uh, create Apex class, public class, Context List Controller. And so now, um, this is saved and we now have a controller called context list controller. So perfect. Um, let's do some more things with our visual force page for right now. Let's create another tag, apex tag. And this time I want a form. Okay. And also want the closing tag. So apex or uh, slash apex form. And that should be it. Okay. And now within here, we want a page block. So we just type apex um, colon and then page block. Perfect. And oops. Then inside here, I'm just going to put a comment and say that our context list will go here. So we're going to put a list of contacts in our visual force page using the uh, controller context list controller. Okay, uh, something else I want to do, let's create a title for our visual force page. So I'll call it context list. Okay. And that should be good enough. Do a quick save here. Preview. It shouldn't be anything. We shouldn't see anything in the... Oh, I'm sorry. We should see uh, the title, uh, but we should see nothing here um, outside of the, the title there. So we get our context list. Let's uh, get out of here. So again, nothing's there. There's no list yet, but that's what we're going to create in our uh, controller right now. So what we can do, we can go to our developer console and we can open up, um, we can open up our um, Apex classes. So our Apex class is called context list controller. So I can just go there, I can open it up and you can see that it's empty, there's nothing in there. Another way, if you don't have this um, enabled, you can just go to the search here, type in Apex, go to Apex classes, and then go to context list controller, click edit, and it's the same thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to create a variable in our class. So it's going to be a private variable, and it's going to have the data type of string, and I'm going to call it uh, 
sort order because what we want to send to the visual force page is a sorted list of our contacts okay and so this is of course is going to be a string and the string name will be last name so that way we can sort by last name and maybe if we want to change the sort order later we just have to change this variable um, within the query that I plan on creating so now let's create a method in our controller and it's going to be a public method and it's going to return a list of contacts and the method is going to be called get contacts so this is a getter method or function so when we call this in visual force we're not going to call get contacts we're just going to call contacts okay so we have to return a list of contacts so let's create a variable it's going to be a list of contacts and we're going to call it results so i'm going to set results equal to uh of course the list of contacts so we have to do a query so we have to query out of salesforce out of the contacts uh object to get this list and we could do that using the database dot query method which takes in a string and then performs the query for us. So the query I'm going to write is select, oops, select, perfect. Okay, ID. We want to select the first name, uh, the last name, the title. So these are all fields on the contact object. Email. Um, from contact okay I'm running out of room here so you know what I do is I just put the plus sign here and go down here so this plus sign will concatenate the string for us um, and actually I will put the plus sign here as well so that way it looks more I don't know, it just looks a little bit better. So from contact plus order by plus uh, sort order. So that's going to be our last name, right? We're just concatenating another string. Uh, we're concatenating last name. Uh, and we want this in ascending order. So ASC plus now I don't want all of them so we're just going to limit it to 10 rows and that should be good enough so this should return 10 rows of contacts um, and it should return the ID the first name the last name the title and the email okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return the results and then save this. Uh, let's see, context at line six, column 27. Um, public list, uh, I put contacts and it's actually just contact. So uh, quick save here. And let me make sure I didn't do that for this. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go back to our visual force page. And we called it uh, contact list. So edit that. Okay, now it's time for us to actually put in this list for our contacts. So we could do that by using the apex tag called column. And no, I'm sorry. What we want is a page block table. So then we're going to use column. So apex page block table. Perfect. 
and now within this table we want um, our columns right so apex colon column and then we need to set our value equal to some string and that should be it so in our apex class we're returning the ID the first name the last name and the email and the title so I'm just going to show maybe four fields so the fields are going to go in these uh, quotations here now before we actually do that we need to call our method so we could do that by saying value um, equals and we use the left bracket exclamation mark and then context now context again is the method that we had created in the visual force page so it was called um, get context in the method and here we're calling it just by context so we just got rid of the get portion of the method when we're calling it here okay and then quotation it's kind of funky syntax and then we're going to create a variable and set it equal to CT so CT will be our variable so now we can call um, this list through CT right so again the same uh, way that we call the method is similar how we call this uh, CT variable so I'm going to do the left parentheses or left bracket uh, yeah it's not parentheses these are brackets so left bracket exclamation mark CT dot first name okay I'm just going to copy this maybe make it a little bit faster just going to paste it in here and instead of first name I want last name um, I want the title and I want the email okay so let's do a quick save here everything looks good let's preview it and let's see if we get that list Uh, okay, so let's see. System uh, query exception unexpected token by last name um, ASC limit. Okay, so there seems to be something wrong with um, my controller in the get context function line 8. So let's go back to that controller. And it's called context list controller. And so part of what's the, the problem is uh, there's no space here and there's no space here. So let's save that. Let's go back to the visual force page and go to our context list and let's preview it now. Uh, let's see, uh, now unexpected token by, okay. So let's go back to our apex page this is good that I'm getting these error messages so you guys can see how to uh, solve them. So we're going to go to context list controller edit by. So let's see. Here we need a from contact. We need a space here. And a space here. And then a here and let's try it one more time let's go back to our visual force page go to context list edit preview and there we go that's beautiful so now we have our context list and if you guys were confused about what was going on it basically um, the strings were being concatenated together so they just looked like one word 
and I need to split up those words in the Apex class. So here's our list. Looks pretty awesome and visual for us. We have our title. So that's basically it. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on making a controller. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I am glad that we got some of those error messages so that uh, I can help clear it up. But be sure to leave likes and comments, any questions you have. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And I see you all in the next video.